Hello everyone, Trinity Plea here. Welcome on back to another Hunt Showdown video. Today, the new developer update 2.1 and All Hallows event uh, video is out. So we're going to watch it and react, analyze to a point, and just give you my thoughts and things like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Hello, I'm Dennis Schwartz, Design Director for Hunt Showdown 1896. First off, I want to thank you all for your continued support and patience since the launch of 1896. We know the journey hasn't been without its bumps and we truly appreciate your understanding as we work through the challenge. Bumps? You mean like that crappy UI? How you can't save your filters? Doesn't remember it? Challenges. Your feedback has been invaluable and we are excited to share the improvements and new content we've been working on. Harvest of Ghosts event. Let's check it out. Let's dive right into the next big thing, the Harvest of Ghosts event, running from October 16th to November 25th. This event brings... All right, so uh, in that quick little area, there are, it looks like, new weapons, like a shorty... Looks like a, a short... Um, a shorty crown and king, a marks, shorty marksman centennial something like that expect some of your favorite packs the wilderness and smugglers alongside the all-new pack of omens each three more packs let me guess packs of i'm gonna get you, i'm gonna assume pack of omens is going to be the one that's going to be the most op because we all know wilderness is more uh solo based smuggler is like a worthless piece of crap each pack offers a unique play style and powerful traits but it's new dark side powers that really stand out First up, we're introducing Blast Sense. When used with a Pact of Omens, Blast Sense reveals the origin of nearby gunshots and explosions in Darkseid, helping you to locate enemies from a distance. Okay, that is pretty fucking cool. Pain Sense. On top of that, we've got a conditional effect for Pain Sense, our new reimagination of Poison Sense, which now highlights enemies who are bleeding, set on fire, or poisoned. For the Pact of Omens, it also highlights enemies who are of stamina. The Smuggler's Pack has received a nice upgrade for the unique trait Gunrunner, allowing hunters to carry two large slot weapons at the same time. Ooh! That actually might be useful. That actually might be broken. Having quarter, a, a stronger Quartermaster where I can have a rifle, long range rifle, plus a shotgun close range? Oh, damn. <laughs> Or have, a, have like a bomb lance and a like a, a good gun, like a medium rifle. That, that sounds OP. Greyhound is the pack's conditional trait, applying a small speed boost on sprinting while carrying bounty in addition to its normal bonus. The Wilderness Pact is still focused largely around an evolution of Surefoot that now also increases your crouch speed slightly, as well as the tried and trusted Beast Face conditional. However, solo hunters will be happy to hear that reduced crouch noise from the last event has now moved to Lightfoot, regardless of Chosen Pact. Okay, so Lightfoot now makes you uh, less no, uh, audible when you're crouching. Okay, new weapons. Throughout the event, you'll have the opportunity to try out a range of new weapons. First up, we have the Maynard Sniper, our very first rifle that comes with the sniper scope by default, and the Auto for Shorty, which offers devastating close-range firepower. Next, we're introducing the Rival 78 Mace and Centennial Pointman. These two medium slot weapon variants will add new dimensions to your loadout options. For those looking for something truly game changing, the bomb launcher makes its debut, along with special items like the hand crossbow revive bolt and the dark dynamite satchel. Each of them offer creative ways to turn the tide in any encounter, adding a whole new layer of strategy to your hunts. Okay, so let's let's go back a little bit. Because they were going a little bit fast. Throughout the event, you'll have the opportunity to try out a range of new weapons. First up, the Maynard Sniper. So it is basically it looks like a spark sniper. We have the Maynard Sniper, our very first rifle. That okay, that it literally is, looks like a spark sniper with a pre, uh, break act. reload. Comes with the sniper scope by default, and the auto. 
the auto for shorty yeah the which is basically the crowning king shorty for shorty which offers devastating close range firepower next we introduce the rival 78 mace and uh, so basically a mace on top of that so a rival blunt weapon cool using the rival 78 mace and centennial pointman so this is the centennial uh, mar uh shorty marksman these two medium slot weapon variants will add new dimensions to your loadout options for those looking for something truly game changing that's gonna be the annoying launcher makes its debut along with special items like the hand crossbow revive bolt and the dark dynamite satchel okay so the revive bolt might be situational it's kind of like necro where you can necro and then still carry it but as long as you see it see the person you might be able to do a quick revive i don't know if they'll get full health or whatever this is i don't know each of them offer creative ways to turn the tide in any encounter adding a whole new layer of strategy to your hunts i don't know about that let's talk about something we are really excited to share with you okay bounty clash a brand new limited time game mode this mode is designed for those of you looking for quicker more intense pvp action bounty clash brings one bounty token one compound 12 players alone or in teams and a 15 minute time limit for an all-out fight to the finish you'll spawn near a randomly selected compound with a dead boss target waiting to be banished Extraction points will be nearby and clearly marked on your compass, adding a layer of pressure as you try to balance offense and defense. Bring in your own hunters and get ready to go head to head in some of your favorite locations from Mammoth's Gulch and Stillwater Bayou, streamlined for this new experience. Bounty Clash will be available from October 16th to 20th, as well as every weekend from Friday to Sunday afterwards, until the end of Harvest of Ghosts. We can't wait for you to jump in and try it out. Don't forget to send us your feedback as we continue to evolve our new game mode. Okay, so my only questions I have for that is, can you extract after you die a few times and get revived? Like, do you do you have to have the bounty token to extract? So those are my questions, my concerns about that mode. Other than that, it sounds kind of refreshing, but I wonder if, I bet you it's going to be two play styles, either everyone up close and personal with shotguns, or it's gonna be a sniper boys at the um, in the uh, sniper boys just hanging out in the back. So it could be annoying or fun. And speaking of Stillwater Bayou, for those of you who might have missed it, we've brought back this fan favorite map with a complete visual overhaul. The Stillwater Bayou map has been fully restored and updated with enhanced visuals, lighting, and textures. Yeah, we knew about this already. Feel while staying true to its roots. Enjoy diving back into this iconic hunting ground with a whole new look. The eerie fog and revamped lighting bring a new level of tension to every mission, making every step through the bayou. But that's if you have your graphics and set up crazy high. Alongside Harvest of Ghosts, we are also re-releasing three beloved times of day. Sundown, Sunset, and Foggy. These have been reworked to create an even more immersive experience. Okay. Oh, UI updates. I'm excited. We've made some improvements to streamline your experience, both in terms of the UI and the overall stability of the game. In our last video, we highlighted some of the upcoming improvements to the equipment flow, making it easier to set up your hunter loadouts. We have also standardized the grid view for the recruit screen to make managing recruits simple and more intuitive. This includes additional entries for recruiting free and all hunters with just one click. Okay. Charms have been reverted to their previous functionality and can now be placed on any number of weapons once again. Additionally, we have tackled numerous bugs to improve stability and overall performance. For a full breakdown of what's been fixed, be sure to check out our patch notes for version 2.1 once released. That's all for now, Hunters. We are thrilled to celebrate spooky season with you, and we hope you enjoy everything we have in store. From the Harvest of Ghosts event to Bounty Clash and tons of bug fixes and improvements, there's plenty to keep you on the edge while you hunt. As always, we deeply appreciate your support and feedback. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the mountains and in the bayou. Okay, so they're going to release patch notes 2.1, which I'll probably cover. I will probably cover real quick once I see it, just case, just to, um, because they're going to go over basically what this video is. So in case anything you uh, miss, but they they might usually in their patch notes they have more stuff to it. So that's the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found this video informative, entertaining, or anything like that, make sure you drop a, a like. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, and then subscribe to my channel so you never miss a hunt. You don't miss any, uh, 
stuff like this again i do a live stream on twitch and uh kick i'm also a soulsborne let's play the uh, let's play player okay guys my name is dreamfully i'm signing off and as always stay trendy